Okay, so thanks for the opportunity. Um, my name is Bruno. I am a master's student in software engineering at the Federal University of Pampa in South Brazil. And today I will present a work that is a systematic mapping study about OSLC. Uh, this work had the guidance and the participation of the following members of the laboratory of the empirical studies in soft engineering, Rafael Torres, Fabio Basso, Rafael Friends, Diego Kreutz, Elder Rodriguez, and Michael Bernardino. This work is part of my monograph in which the main theme was to explore how to integrate software tools. And when I started my research, I realized that integrating software tools is a complex task uh, because these tools have different configurations, functionalities, vendors, and handle uh, heterogeneous artifacts. And this scenario motivates organizations to look for alternatives to integrate the software existing. And one of these alternatives is continuous software engineering. Uh, which is a paradigm that contains techniques to automate tasks in agile environments. Uh, for example, uh, continuous integration and continuous delivery. Okay. But uh, one of the main challenges in continuous software engineering is defining how to integrate tools that support these tasks. Uh, and, and when I start my research, uh, my goal is uh, where to know how our CDC could integrate end-to-end -end environments to support continuous soft engineering. So we decided to, to plan uh, and execute an empirical study to find how our CDC is used in practice because we, we didn't know uh, how OSLC was used. And as a result, uh, this work analyzed and it discusses 59 papers uh, selected through the execution of a systematic mapping study. And we follow a well-defined protocol to allow this study to be repeated in the future. And this process contains five main steps. Uh, and two researchers conduct each step to minimize bias. OK. Then we, we elaborated. The, the first step is to, define, uh, is to define the research questions to help you answer more research goal. Then we elaborated search strings to find as many papers about OSLC as possible. After we selected the papers that matched to the, to the research topic based on reading the title, uh, abstract keywords, and introduction. And finally, we create a, a map of the state of your art based on reading the full paper. So we, we have four research questions. Uh, the RQ1 is OSLC standard is used in which phase of the software life cycle? Uh, what are the contexts of organizations that adopt the OSLC standard? What are the most frequent types of research about the OSLC standard? So in this question, we, we classify these studies according to the type of assessment uh, adopted by the authors. In, uh, and the last one is, which are the fastest of the study contribution? For example, we mapped it with the authors 
proposed or used tools, methods, or process. Or what search string contains the terms open search for lifecycle collaboration, OSLC, integration, interoperability, linked data, lifecycle, and traceability. And we performed a search for papers in five uh, digital libraries used in the computer science area. For a paper to be selected in, in your study, it should meet uh, the two inclu inclusion criteria defining in your protocol that that was applied while reading the title, keywords, abstract, and introduction. So the paper uh, was selected with presents uh, in the title, abstract, keywords, or in the introduction, the terms OSNC or open source for lifecycle collaboration. And also, if the paper provides uh, an example of use, method, tool, metric, or process that uh, uses OSLC. However, if the paper meets at the last one of the following uh, exclusion criteria, it was removed for own study. For example, we removed the paper that is not in English, the study that, that's not primary, and so on. Also, we uh, we removed from our study the that is dupl duplicated between the database. Um, to create our map and answer our research questions, uh, we created a structure, a structure form to enter data from each paper. Uh, and each item corresponds to a research question. Then we document the following information from, from papers. For, for example, in which phases of the software life cycle the tools are integrated, uh, advantages, disadvantages, uh, and other aspects of each paper. Okay, once we, we have planned our protocol, we start executing. The screen of papers uh, began with the search for papers in the digital databases, which resulted in 278 papers. So we removed the duplicated papers between the, the bases and 223 were left, okay? So uh, applying the inclusion and the exclusion criteria, left 59 papers considered uh, re relevant for the research topic. And as resulted, in the OCLC usage map. We, we also map the number of papers published uh, in each year. And we can see that the community had, was most uh, active between, between two, 2014 and 2018. And to, to, to answer the RQ1, we use the Scrum methodology to map OSLC usage and the answer or question. And we classify in the papers into three categories, pre-game, game, and post-game. And we found 39 papers related to the development of a new 
release functionality uh, during the spring in agile environments. We, we, we also uh, did this classification based on the rational unified process, RUP. But as agile environments uh, drive continuous software engineering, we also categorize, categorize it in, into screen phase. To answer ARC2, we map the context of organizations uh, into the following categories. And the, the authors report that the use of OSLC in this context is motivated by the needs of the areas, such as data traceability. So, for example, we found the papers in medicine context, embedded system context, academic context, and also safety crit critical systems. Uh, and to answer the RQ3, we classify the, the search types into six categories. As highlighted, we have the proposed solution category with three, with, uh, with, which presenting a uh, proof of concepts. For example, example, the development of an adapter. And we, we can see that the community needs more works reporting industry experience and also empirical studies because we found that five evaluation researches and five, uh, only five experience papers. Uh, we, we have five categories to map the contribution fast of papers. The, the two category is composed of piece of software such as adapters. Um, the model category uh, comprises a graphical representation uh, of an activity or a software, for example, uh, OSLC domains. And we, we don't found metrics about OSLC in your research. Okay. Uh, after reading the works, we, we saw that OSLC is greatly motivated by model-driven engineering and verification and validation environments because OSLC, OSLC is motivated by point-to-point -point integration. And for that, it's necessary to create interfaces to, for the exchange of the data between the tools. And we, we see that MDE has a, a, a highlight in, in this design, because mainly because uh, authors uh, related that Liu is used to create these adapters. And we, we also uh, mapped that the need for verification and validation activities that involve simulations, for example, uh, requires the data traceability, uh, traceability uh, and the other uh, advantages that OCLC provides. So is uh, a topic that we we read uh, a lot of papers about VNV environments. And other topic that we we can discuss is opportunistic reuse of software. 
because since uh, OCLC provides asset standardization, OSLC can be exploited in opportunistic use because this is an approach in which new software systems are built from assets that were not originally designed to be combined. For example, tools in the two chains. And it's a, 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 a interesting a topic to new researchers in the future about OSLC. Okay, so our work scopes four research questions uh, about the stand state of the art and the practice into integration using OSLC, uh, which we analyze 59 primary studies published between two, 2008 and 2020. Uh, and after reading the papers, we noticed that uh, we noticed that OCLC has already been used in real environments. The and its main advantages are data traceability, reuse of assets, data uh, reliability, and low coupling of tools. And do it to it is uh, characters. Uh, OSLC can be explored in continuous soft engineering to integration end to end environments. Uh, we also mapped that adaptive development is the main way to integrate tools with OSLC. However, uh, developing the adapters requires a high technical knowledge of the engineers about the OSLC specifications, make it one of the reasons that OSLC is not explored in other niches. For example, the development of uh, mobile applications. Uh, OCLC is only choice in environments that requires one of the uh, advantages that OCLC provides. And in, for example, uh, uh, yeah, and out in addition to, to learn uh, the workings, the tools that the engineers are interested to integrating, it is necessary to know the OCLC specifications corresponding to the artifacts uh, and the tools that will be integrated. So uh, when we are talking about uh, integrations with OSLC, uh, it's uh, a high technical knowledge, knowledge required about the CDC specifications that uh, makes to the OCLC uh, explored only in VV environment, for example. So uh, then uh, after executing our work, uh, we can answer our question about integrations with OSLC. Are software de development process fully automated through server studies? And the answer is no, because uh, the, uh, when we are reading the papers, uh, the authors related that the two chains integrated by OSLC are limited to a few domains of the developed environment. And we, we, we did find works uh, that automate the entire software life type. And after we conducted our systematic mapping study, we explored the developed 
of conductors with SLC. And we, we create uh, an adapter using the LU. And in the future, we want to validate and share this process that we followed with the community to guide new developers. Because when we start our research, we did find uh, a lot of uh, materials uh, guiding new developers uh, to develop, develop OSLC adapters. So in short, uh, developer must understand what they want to integrate and match it to OSLC specifications. So the a developer needs to know, to, needs to identify which tools are providers or consumers, identifies which artifacts should be shared, uh, identifies the properties of artifacts that should be shared between the two chain, and uh, after select the OCLC domains corresponding to tools and artifacts, identifies the resource resources of the OSLC domains that correspond to the artifacts, and also identifies the properties of OSLC resources corresponding the, to the artifacts. And then uh, the devel developer needs to create an API or use an API provided for the tool. Generate the source code via LU. Eclipse LU, and finally implement the logic of the methods manually. So we, we want to validate uh, by an empirical uh, study and share if it, it with the community in the future. Uh, we also want to explore the Spring framework and microservice architecture, uh, creating uh, an alternative for automatic source code generator for OCLC adapters, making engineers focus on the tools they are using uh, and not in the OCLC specifications uh, themselves, right? So we are research about about it, and one of alternative is to develop a platform based on the low code approach to optimize end users and new developers to engage to the OCLC approach. Be uh, and other reason is that agile environments uh, have uh, a minimal documentation. So a software or a platform uh, could be better in these environments. We have a prototype using the Spring Initializer uh, to generate the uh, adapter code. And in the future, we aim to, to minimize the need for developers to know OCLC specifications. So we, we want to add the, the automatic generation of uh, uh, parts uh, uh, of Spring framework, such as uh, Spring Cloud and Spring Data, and so on. And we want to also add the orchestration of the microservices using the Spring and OSLC. This work was partially supported by research funding agencies in Brazil, such as Propesc and Papers, Papers and Propesc. Um, that's it. Thanks. Uh, I hope that you understand. I improved my English, so 
So thank yeah, you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Bruno. Yeah, you did give us some uh, some viewpoints that we typically don't see, like about the uh, how SLC looks like from uh, uh, doing a discovery of of data on the web. Uh, definitely, yeah, we need we need, and this is part of the part of the motivation of this community is that. Uh, we need. We want to see definitely more papers. You, you saw that there is a reduction of well, the, the, the the amount of papers is diminishing in the recent few years. So definitely, we we established this event and others to to promote the usage of OSC and hopefully we see uh, more papers. Uh, and we also hope that you. Continue and the next time you you show us some real prototype how you you use the OSC in some use cases or the results of your future work. Um, 